Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here. It's the second time I'm doing my video because I had shouting husband downstairs and I had to stop. Um, so I'm back. I'm going to work in this little journal which is a lot of fun. And I was just saying that I had today, I hadn't, it's a bit late, it's like well, it's mid-afternoon now, um, that I had been mucking around with these because I haven't used them and I've been printing envelopes and stuff let me see here printing envelopes and folding them um so some will be some will be glued shut and some will be for writing spots so that they can be opened so that's what i've been doing all today just thought you might like to know that okay so we've done that bit there this bit i was going to leave open this here i need to close so um i need to find some paper we are in the land of the paper, so so you can see all the scraps I've got now in my scrap. I think I might go and get another box and have plain scraps and then, you know, decorative paper sort of scraps, if you know what I mean, so that it, I can distinguish them. But I've got all these scraps in here now. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that can be, that's actually print on the other side. That's good to know. I could, I don't know, just pull things out. That's no good. This one. Is this what I'm... That's too big. That could be nice there. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. We are all well. Um, it's not big enough. So, okay, i got to get a, a new piece of paper. I'll just put those aside in case I want to use those. Um... So I could even see, because this one didn't print well, I was thinking I, I could just rip this one up and that could be really nice glued there. So let me just, I'm just going to tear off the flaps. I have that fluoro paint sitting in front of me, tempting me. So you don't have to use these as they were destined. And that's going to be perfect if I tear off those flaps. You know what that's going to this is really cool that's going to stay on there and then it's going to fold over where I, i'm going to close it it won't work with the birds but i don't care i like the idea of it so i'm going to trim that off whoops i don't want to go crooked like so and that's going to go on there and fold over the top. That's going to be really cool. Okay, so I need this. I'm going to slide this in here. So I need to put glue, excuse me, all over my envelope. Oh, I might need to hop up and grab another glue. We'll see how I go. Put my glue there. See, this is in here, so that way I don't put glue on there and glue it shut. Let's slide it down there. And then I need to use this glue here and on this the side that's going down there. I'm just going to put some glue here. I think before I want to, before I actually glue it, I'm actually going to trim this so it's open there because I don't want to um, do it when I've got that there because it'll get in my way. Oops. Put the glue on my hand. That's going to go there. Cool. And look. It's open. In theory, it's open here. Yes, there it is. So we can do a little... Where's my orange one? Yeah. Oh, I need to cover that. Didn't think about that. Just get this and slip that out. I'm 
that is going to be a flap. If I'd thought of, if I'd known that yesterday, I wouldn't have put my birds there. I would have put them down lower, but it's not the end of the world. Look at that. Cute. So I need to cover this up. So we've got plenty. Oh, well, we've got this here. Why don't I put that on there? Yes, that's going to look nice. Okay, I'm going to trim this. I may just glue it on and then trim it. So let's grab this piece this piece of paper yes we'll fold it over so it's not sticky we're going to put our glue on here and had I thought about that I would have done it before I glued it all on but I didn't think about it okay that's rubbish and then we need to just trim it. And I will fold it down when it dries so that way I don't get creases. Well, that's a fun use for those. Oh, I'm not going to get creases because it doesn't fold right there. Okay, good. So that means there. The birds are a bit of a problem for me now. I might have to cover them up because they're going to annoy me. Cover them up with a different paper. And maybe put that label somewhere else. Let's just see here. Not that paper. Oh, what about if I did something like this? I don't mind that. I'm going to do that. Because it's just like, look, it looks like you've chopped their heads off. I don't like it. So I'll have to do something else. So I like the way that all matches when it opens. And then I need to put, I'll put it like some sort of circle or something there to hold it down. Or you could put some, you know, put it, punch a hole. You didn't fold it straight. You could punch a hole and um, put some you know string around so that's what it's going to look like and then that's like that and then we need to do something here not that one Okay, I don't need to cover all of it. Let's have a look at the papers. A little bit of fussy tear this. like that
and maybe a little bit of um, book page. This might my bin closer so that I can at least attempt to get things in the bin. Oh no, first I'm going to glue this. Okay, good, and label or a butterfly. I'd have to cut that one out. I quite like that, but I feel like it's all on its own. And I'm thinking maybe I might like a label more. Oops. Got to have this little bird one that we've covered up. I'm feeling a bit tired now. So I might be a bit quiet. Like that more. Okay, but let's see, maybe we need an even bigger one. Okay. And there I'm wondering if, oh gosh, I love that. I'm going to put that there. So this is obviously going to be like a botanical style sort of gen. I'm just going to cut it out a little bit better, make those into tags, journal cards.
Yeah, like that. Okay, I'm not sure about here yet. I'm going to decide that. Um, we'll come back to that. That's there. We need to cut out a circle to go there. I'll do that after. So then we've got to flip over here and we've got this to do. Let's just move on a little bit. Right. So we've got a bit of covering up to do. Um, and I've got to cover that up as well. So I'm just wanting to see... I just stick that there and then I can cover up this bit here. And I think I'll just tuck that in. Okay. Let's see in my scraps, what do I have here that I might be able to use just to sort of, I don't want to cover all of that up because I really like that paper, but I guess we could do it a little bit with um, maybe these tea dyed, printed out tea dyed bits. I want it to kind of blend in a little bit. I don't want to, that can be a writing spot with the little, maybe a little bit of deco decorating, but not too much. I think I've gone through two glue sticks in one day because um, I've been sort of preparing a lot of, because um, I'm out of ephemera really. I have a little bit, but not much left over from when I made the last journals. I just run out straight away. I've been, um, you know, making a whole lot of, oh, here they are. I've just been preparing bases for tags. They, I mean, they get a little bit more embellishing on them. Some of them I've done on other papers, so they still need to be finished. Um, and then I've got some that I haven't cut out yet. So I've been doing a lot of gluing and I quite like this there. And then I've got to find another piece. Another piece and what will we have? I don't want to go into that color. I want to keep it similar, similar tones. That's too strong. That might be it. Yes, I'm going to put that there. And then, oh, I definitely need to hop up and get a glue. Sorry, guys. I am back using my Giotto glue. Now that I've finished off my prick glue, I'm back with the Giotto. And I'm hoping this one's not, oops, this one's not going to be mush. Now these, look, they're different. See, I ordered, what I thought I had ordered on Amazon was this one. Can you see? How they're different that's got that on and I found these ones with this on there are mushy um, so this one should not be we will see and in fact it's not 
I don't know what the difference is because they look the same. However, the one with the coloured bits on it are mushy. So now I'm back using the non-mushy Joshua glue and it's my favourite glue because it also glues fabric and it appears to be stronger. Oh, I wish I weren't feeling so sleepy right now. I'd be a bit more chatty. Now, Would, if I were to cut that out, would that be like fussy cut it? Would that be or tear it? That would be too much. I kind of liked the colours with the colours in the paper next door. I just feel like if I put something down there, then that will all be a bit more cohesive. going to tear this paper up it's a collage really a collage sort of paper anyway and just see if there's any bits of this that I might like I'm quite like that I do quite like that so let's just tear this yeah I think I'll put that there I still have a huge, quite a large pile of the, the mushy Giotto glues, but anyway, we'll see what happens. And then did I end up with any bits and pieces? It's a bit of a patchwork, um, but once someone were to write on there, it would sort of all, you know, mix better. Here, I'm just going to glue that on there. Take that off. Put some glue on there. Okay, and that's that. So that's done. Oh, wait, what about something there? Do we want something there? I'll probably put some book page there. Page might be good. Oh, yeah, that's what I want. Take this off. This is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to slowly, you know, work my way through the, the journal and collage and fix the things that I need to fix 
and then creep, do add pockets and that's all that sort of jazz. So really just working in it like a regular one. So I've got this, this. I'm thinking I might like a, a like a nice um, oh yep, a nice Tracy label there. Just wondering how long I've been here for. Right. And yeah, here I haven't decided, so we'll just keep looking at that. It's a blank space. I could put that there like that. There we go. Love that now. Here I just felt like you could do a little bit of writing there. Or you could add a butterfly or something, but I think I'll leave that. There I've still got to finish. Turn that over. Love that bit of a mishmash might add a tab here I won't decide that yet oh, I love it and then just turn this over we've got a pocket attached here we're going to add a tab and then let's see what's next we've got this so then we'll have to do pockets afterwards now here this is a flip I could just leave it as is or otherwise I did prepare some tags with just oh wait like you can just take a tag and and add it there and then put a backing on it. Oh, I like that one. I do like that one. I think I'll put the owl there. So I guess get a bit of glue. And that one's it's already backed. Oops. Now why did it slip like that? It's already backed the owl with some old just plain book page. So it's ready for writing, but what I might do is just then I like to reinforce it and have something sort of over both. It is good having this box of scraps, I can tell you that now, because you just grab them and just go through and see what might what might you like to add. And I love these bits. Just to make sure it stay goes on, it sticks on properly. And I think I would put that more like that, a little bit further over, more on the this side than the other side. That's it. And now that is attached. So my, yeah, my next step is to decide what to do with these. Again, that I think that's going to stay a flip because I don't want to lose all of that. So um, sometimes I like to just add a piece of Florentine paper, but I like to fold it over. So attach it at the back here, maybe there. So let's put some glue. Oh no, maybe I need to trim it down first. Let's do that so that way I cut it straight. And then fold it like so. Now maybe a bit further over. And then I'm going to trim it. Oh, actually I might tear it. Okay, and then I get my glue and just put some glue along the edge. I might have to glue this down. I think I, I went over, so I don't want it to glue shut because I'm making a pocket, a flippy out pocket.
So in theory, that's going to cover up the stickiness. And then here I grab my Tombow, just because it's easier to get a thinner line than um, the glue stick. You can't get such a thin line. And there I have a flipping out pocket. Now, I'll, I'll just do a little punch. Like so, that. And then we can just put a little embellishment on there. But I'm not sure what, so we'll just come back to that. Okay, this I did glue on here, and that's all okay. I'm going to leave that, leave that. Now this one, I think I will make a side tuck. It's actually quite nice and deep. I probably don't need to do anything else to it, so I might leave it and just see if I need to add something afterwards. Oh, that's pretty. Let's put some book behind, page behind it and put the butterfly there. Yep. And that is it. I'm actually feeling a bit tired, guys, so I think <laughs> I might have to end my video soon and just have a bit of a rest for today I will be back working on it again tomorrow um, let me just I'll flip over and see if there's anything else that's going to inspire me in an easier sort of fashion so yeah so what I want my process is so I put my pages in I go through and decide these really what I want to do with those um, I think that one I might have as a tuck Gosh, I love these pages. I really do. I think because I love pretty, pretty colours. I've got pretty colours. Put that one there. I'll add something to that, but I'm not sure what. That can flip out. Or that could even, sometimes I just glue them down because you can write on that. I think I might just glue that one down. Um, you don't want everything to be a flip. So let's grab your glue and glue it down. It just makes a little pretty contrast. Or I could have even taken it off and put it on as a belly band. And then I might put something else on there afterwards, but we'll come back to that. And here we, then we've arrived to an envelope that I need to cover that. This one I might make a side tuck like that one, like that. And so there's a bit to do there and I'm feeling a bit tired, so I guess I won't do that today. Um, so I think I'll go through and decide these off camera. We don't need to do a video doing more of those. We've done the first bit and, and then all of the major decorating sort of bits um, we will do together. And um, oh, it's so much fun. And that way... Um, you can see the process. Already got that on there. And it's nice to just flip through a few times, just so you get a feel for it. Okay, and that still needs something else on it. I think, you know, you could put something on here. I don't know what, but you know, that's pretty sort of thing. So you tie in using bits and pieces of the papers that were that are similar style or whatever you sort of tie it all into each other okay so i think i'm going to go i'm going to wish you a very happy saturday i apologize for being so quiet but i'm feeling a bit tired um i didn't sleep so well so um yeah i will 
come back tomorrow and do some more work in it. So thank you so much for watching and have a great Saturday and see you again tomorrow. Bye.